Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is December the 7th of 2022 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. For those of you who would like a printed copy of this word, please go to my website and click on the downloadable PDF file featured on the website's front page. For those of you who would like to read over past prophetic words, please click on the archives to access them. My website address is in the description box below. The word I'd like to share with you today is one that touches once again on the heart of God to reach the lost. The Bible tells us that the Lord desires that none should be lost. He wants every man, woman, and child to have the opportunity to hear his word and to be saved through the finished work of Christ on the cross. And though this has always been the heart of God, in these times, the Lord is speeding up his outreach to the nations. The Lord is encouraging us today to take on his heart of love and compassion and to reach out to those who are hurting and in need of a Savior. I hope this word will bless and encourage you as you listen to it today. This word is titled, Sign of the Times. I'll begin reading this word with scripture. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. This scripture speaks of the love of God for all of mankind, that because of his great love, he sent his Son to die so that we would not perish, but have eternal life through him. 1 John 2, verse 2. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. This scripture verse tells us that the Lord's outreach is to the whole world, that what Jesus accomplished on the cross covers the sins of the whole world. Mark 12, verse 31. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. This scripture verse tells us that we are to love our neighbor. Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. This scripture passage highlights the heart of God for the lost, for the hungry, for the poor, for the naked, for those who are in prison. 
it tells us that as we reach out to hurting people and show acts of kindness, that we are doing it to the Lord. I'll begin reading the word. I, the Lord your God, am a consuming fire, and I have come to purge my elect, to burn away the hay and stubble, everything that does not produce fruit. Every branch that does not produce will be stripped away. The pruning hook has gone forth. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. If you abide in me, my life will flow through to you. Draw near to me. Let go of those things that do not produce fruit for my kingdom. Let go of the sin that dogs your feet and causes you to trip and fall. Keep your eyes upon me. Search for wisdom in these things. Every entanglement with the world will cause you to stumble. So seek to be free from the snares of deceitful men, says the Lord. Of their cunning and craftiness, do not listen to the voice of a stranger, but incline your ear to hear my voice and you will see the things of the world fall away. Choose this day whom you will serve, for your Father in heaven is calling you to draw near. Seek his righteousness. Holy is the Lord, and all who enter in must enter through the narrow way. This way leads to life. The way was made open by his Son, in whom he was well pleased. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. These are the ones who will see his face when he is revealed in his glory. Run the race that is set before you. Run to receive the prize, the crown of life given to those who faithfully endure till the end. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. If anyone has something against his brother, let him make it right, says the Lord. Love one another deeply from the heart, for love covers a multitude of sin. Give freely to those in need, for freely you have received. Do the works that I have prepared in advance for you to do. These things are worked through love. Love endures all things, hopes all things. Love is patient and kind, never seeking its own way. Love never fails. When you see a neighbor in need, do not hesitate to reach out to him, for in doing so, you are bringing the Father's love to him. Every right act you do toward men, you have done unto me, for I seek to touch those in need, to heal their wounds, to bring them into life. For the death of my son was a complete sacrifice for all men." and through his blood is the redemption of all men. I long for all men to come to me to receive the redemptive work of my Son, for with his blood he purchased all men for God. So go in my name and do the works I've called you to do, for all men will see my love poured out to them. Go bind up the brokenhearted in my name, and the God of peace shall be with you. The time is near, the time is now, when I will do these things, says the Lord. Those who have been held back will be thrust out. They will enter the stream of my spirit going out to the poor, the lonely, the lost, to those who are hurting, those who are broken, 
those who are desperate. They will run into places of darkness to pull those out of the darkness and bring them into the life and light of my Son. I shall be their strength and rear guard and light the way. They shall not stumble or fall, but they shall go out with great joy and the power of my Spirit, says the Lord, to snatch these from the pit of hell and from eternal destruction. The tide is turning. I am doing a new thing in the earth, says the Lord. The trumpet has sounded, and the dead are about to rise. Those who have lived in death cut off from the life of Jesus, as he who has the Son has life. But he who does not have the Son, even as he lives, is dead, dead in trespasses. There is a rumbling in the heavens. My voice is going forth into all the earth. My voice is shaking the earth, and the graves are being opened, and the dead are are being raised to life. This is a sign of the times. This is a sign of the coming of the Son of Man. There will be no other sign, for it has been said that in those days I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. This is the sign that the time is near, very near. Hear the sound of his coming. It is the sound of the earth shaking and giving up the dead. The earth shall quake as the dead are raised and split at the sound of my coming, says the Lord. The vultures are circling, for the time is near. They shall eat the flesh of all those who war against the Son of Man, the Holy and Anointed One. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that he is Lord, to the glory of the Father. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end the first and last, the firstborn among men, born of God, born of man, creator and ruler of all the earth. In this word today, the Lord is emphasizing that he wants his people to bear fruit for his kingdom. And that fruit is bringing in the lost to reach out with his word of truth, with his salvation message, with his love to touch the lives of those around us, to reach the hurting, the desperate, the poor, the broken. The Lord wants to bring life to those who have been dead in their trespasses. And he is telling us that his voice is going forth in all the earth, that it is shaking the earth and giving up the dead. And though we know that this is a spiritual rebirth the Lord is speaking about, the Lord also mentions the earth quaking at his return when the dead are raised. And so he is telling us this is a sign of his coming, that his sound is going forth in the earth, and it is the sound of his coming. Jesus' death and resurrection made eternal life available to all men, and the Lord's desire is that all men be saved. And so though this invitation has been put in place over the centuries, the Lord is telling us that in this day and this time, he is stepping up his outreach, that he is raising his people up to carry his heart of love for our neighbors and for the nations. And so he encourages us 
to let go of those things that would hold us back, to draw near to Him and to function in love as we actively reach out to the world around us. I hope this word today encourages each one listening to recognize the heartbeat of God, His passion for the lost, and the acceleration of the time of His return. May God's great love and compassion manifest in each of our hearts and lives as His people as we run the race and stay the course. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you abundantly beyond all that you could think or ask. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.